Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a full face of Morphe and we're also going to be trying out the Bronze Goals collection. So excited to try this palette and some of the other things from it. It will be so nice. I got the bronzer, the lip glosses, and the highlight, liquid highlighters. So those are going to be really cool. There's a few items that I do not have in Morphe. So the primer... I do not have one of their primers and I also don't have one of their setting powders so we're going to just use drugstore versions so that all this whole look could be a drugstore value. And then we're also going to use just a drugstore mascara since they only sell lashes and I don't really wear lashes that much. So let's get started with the video. We're also going to be trying out the complexion blending sponge so it looks like this. It's a lot closer of a shape to the beauty blender so here's the beauty blender so it's a lot closer of a shape than say their contour sponge so here's their contour sponge and it's a lot squishier so here's the squishiness of a beauty blender you can see it's pretty similar versus their contour sponge does not have as much squish so I'm gonna wet this and get started okay so let's... okay so let's pin our hair back Now, oh, it's close. Not want to stay in. There we go. So this complexion blending sponge is actually way squishier when it's wet. And we'll see how it performs. See if it could be a dupe for the beauty blender. I know there's a lot of ones that are similar to the beauty blender, but they just don't perform as well as the beauty blender. So we shall see. Okay. So first up, I told you I don't have. A, the Morphe primer so I'm going to use the NYX Hydro Touch primer so it's a hydrating one about that much primer I just take it and I put it in right here and just rub it in I really don't put hydrating primers on my nose because if I do then it will just make my nose super oily so I just don't like to do that okay so now we're going to try out this complexion sponge and use the I crafted my makeup forever one they're in like same looking package so we're gonna use the morphe one not the makeup forever foundation so the morphe one is a matte their fluidity foundation so it's a full coverage foundation and it's super matte so I'm F2.20 in this foundation. I'm just going to squirt a little bit out. Do about that much on my face. We'll see if it's enough. Usually on a daily basis I use a brush to blend out my makeup. It's just easier. So this is actually working really good. I really like the sponge. It is a really good sponge. And I like that it has this flat part right here. That's actually really nice. But this is working pretty good. I think this is my favorite one compared to a beauty blender. Still beauty blender will always win out I think for me. But this one Honestly, it was probably the best one I tried. Also, it's even better than their contour sponge. I do know some of the Ultas have this in their stores and some don't. Some still only have the other two. There's one that the contour sponge and there's one that the cast that goes like this and like this. Kind of looks like an hourglass shape. So and I really like this foundation. I know a lot of people are saying they don't like it, but I really like this foundation. It's really nice. Especially if you use a hydrating primer. And that blended out super fast with that sponge. So now we will use the Morphe concealer. And I am C1.55 in the concealer. 
Come on. I don't remember doing those. My forehead and my chin. I don't really do my cupid's bow a lot. It's just not something I do. I know people do that, but about. Let's blend this out. I do like how the sponge has the tip just like the beauty blender does. So that does give a very nice finish to the skin, as you can see. This is a very full, full coverage foundation and concealer. And I love it. I do like more full coverage foundations. It just covers up all my little red spots. So now to set the under eyes. I'm gonna use the J Morphe JH07 brush like this. So, and I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. Ah, I can talk bronzer, but it's so light. You can see I use this broken already. It's so light. You can use this under the eyes. It has a tiny bit of sparkle, but I don't mind that. And then I just use this to brighten wherever I put that highlighter. And then all over the rest of the face, we are going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder in Natural Beige. So I'll just wipe off a little excess powder. Just go with this. And this is a Morphe JH02 brush that I'm going in with. I'll just do that all over the rest of the face. Next, we are going to go in with our eyes and try out the new 35G Bronze Goals palette. This, when I saw it, screamed my name. It is so my color, so it has a little sheet that comes with it with the names. I don't really use that very much. That ends up getting thrown out. That's why I like palettes that put them on here so you can actually read them. But this is my kind of palette. Bronzy, golds, pinks, all the type of stuff I like. So we will go in with this palette. So I will insert a swatch of all of the different colors of this palette. And you can see every single color that comes in the palette. I do know they have it at Ulta, which is exciting that they brought it to Ulta. They don't always bring their all of their palettes to Ulta, so when they do come, it's cool. Let's try to find all my different brushes for my eyes. Get that all. Okay, so we're first going to start out with this color right here into our eyes just to have a transition color and I'm going to take that color on a JH30 brush and just go in and take this all over the lid of the eye. Just 
see that it goes all over the lid. Next up, we're going to take the JH32 brush from Morphe, and we're going to go in on the side on the color. This deeper brown shade right here, just to build up that transition so that will really build up in the crease. So we're going to dab this in, just put this, dab it on the corner like this, and then just buff it in. I like to dab and then grab, drag it across, because then you get your most color out here on the outer V, and you just bring in the amount of color you want. So I'm going to tell you right now, these colors have so much pigment to them. Like, I barely dabbed my brush into the pan, and it has so much pigment to it, and I love that. So I'm going to go on the other side, stab, and start dragging it over. I think today we're going to do more of a like bronzy, smoky eye just because of the colors in this palette. Just work for that. I always have a hard time with palettes deciding which shimmer I'm going to go to, especially if a lot of them will work with my eyes. I'll spend like a bunch of time, I'll swatch them and keep swatching and be like, I forgot which one I swatched and just keep doing that. Okay, so next up, we're going to even deepen this look more from this like chocolatey color right here. I'm going to take that on a JH40 brush. It's a little tiny brush and we're going to take that mainly in the outer V. So just dab it in. And you just want to dab on your eye. Get some more. I like to go in slowly building this up so that you don't get too much on the outer V that it makes it hard to work with and blend and then you just have a big mess. And then I just do like these little dabby motions just to get that color right where I want it. And I pretty much do this with all dark colors just because once you put a dark color on it's really hard to not have it be everywhere that you don't want it to be if you just put too much on your brush. And then I feather it a little bit up above once I get enough on that V. Just to make the look cohesive. Then we're going to go in with a JH33 brush and just blend that all together. Just make sure it's really blended good above. So next up is the shimmers. figure out which shimmer we want to use. There's so many. I mean, look how many shimmers. Oh, it's going to be hard to decide. I think I'm going to go swatch a few of these and see. This one's like a goldy one. Let's see. Oh, it actually has some like bronze reflex into it. It's really pretty. Another ones look like they'd be bronzy enough. This one, I think this one's more gold. Actually, it's kind of more 
orangey. This one is more orangey. This one. This is hard to decide. I think I'm going to go with this one down here in the corner. So we will try it out without wetting the brush and see how that works first. And then we will wet the brush and see the differences. So I'm using a Morphe JH04. It's this flat brush, rounded top. Let's go on. So this is without wetting the brush. So there's not a ton of payoff at all when you don't wet the brush. So if you can see there's like no payoff at all really. So we're gonna wet the brush and see what it looks like on the other side. I do know a lot of the Morphe ones that people use their fingers with. And I'm just using some Max Fix Plus to wet the brush. You can use water or any setting spray you have. So let's wet the brush and see is okay hmm. so even wetting it it doesn't have a ton of payoff so I'm gonna try going in with my finger and seeing the, the but in the brush has more, but we'll go in with the finger and see how that works out on this side. But okay, so yes, these have definitely. You want to use your finger with the shimmer shade; it works the best. Look at that difference. So we'll go back in with this eye with the finger just because finger seems to be the best option with these shimmery shades but these shades are so pretty i'm loving the bronze and it's perfect for summertime when you want to be super bronzy okay and then i'll go back in with this flat brush just to shape it exactly where i want Make sure it's all up into that inner corner. Okay. So now we are going to do the low the lash line. So I'm going to go in with a flat top brush, the JH43, with that darkest shade we used on the outer V. And just put a little bit on it. And you're going to go as close as you can to the waterline. And just place that right there. It can look really stark right now. We're going to go in with another shade to blend it out. So let's go right in to the waterline. Then we're going to take the JH33 brush that we used before, and you're just gonna blend that all out. Just to soften that look. Now we're gonna take the JH42 brush. We're gonna go in with this shade in our inner corner and beneath our brow bone. 
just to brighten that all up. So some of these shades actually are coming off pretty pigmented that are sparkle because that one I didn't even put setting spray or anything or MAC Flex Plus on and it's coming off really good off the brush. So I think it just depends on the actual shade. Just look at how it just brightens the eye right up. shade beneath the brow bone and I really don't ever do my brows all that much I just I don't need to so I won't do it it's an extra step I don't think I need So if you've seen my videos before doing makeup, I don't do my mascara until after I do my setting spray just because my lashes are so long. So we will do that in a little bit. Next up, we are going to try out the Glam Bronze. And this is the shade Megastar. So this is the middle shade of the bronzer. So it's a matte bronzer. Let's see. We'll swatch it and see what it looks like. So this will be a good all over the face bronzer. And then I have a palette, Morphe palette to do contour with. So I'm gonna take the M530 brush from Morphe. Just gonna go into the bronzer. I just want, this is like the perfect shade. The bronzer, I love this bronzer. It is so pretty. And it's like drugstore prices. Ooh, I really like this bronzer. I'll probably be using it all summer and it's drugstore. So, next step, we are going to contour the face. So, I use an M32 brush. It's a flat. This. this is the Morphe Highlight and Contour Palette in the Lo Fi, so the AL palette. Looks like this. It's got all these shades. So we're going to go in with Donut right here to contour with. And when I contour, I took the smallest amount because I just do a tiny bit of contour right in here. The brush is contouring. So I really only contour my cheekbones. When I contour it, I make the weirdest faces. So, add the contour on. Next step is blush. I do love blush. So this is the Morphe Trio Blush Trio in Papa Blush. It's got these pretty shades. So I think I'm gonna go in with this one out here. It's more of a shimmery shade. So there's two matte ones. Here and here are the matte and then this sh shimmery shade. So actually, no, we're going to go with the matte one because we need to try out those highlighters. So we really want to see highlighter shades. So I'm actually going to go with this sexy shade over here. I'm just taking a Morphe JH04 brush. Just put it on the cheeks. My hair is getting everywhere. Okay, 
Next up, I'm so excited to try these out. The liquid highlighter set. So this is sold in a set like this. I don't know if they're ever going to sell them individually, but this is the set. So there's four different ones that come in it. And they're each 0.27 fluid ounces. So it's pretty on par with the highlighters, I would say. It's probably a little smaller to get them out. So they're about this size. So this one is called Flash. It's like a gold one. This one is called Flare, so this is like a rosy one, rose gold one. This is Optics, so this is a gold silver one. And Strobe, so this is like a pinky one. So this is probably I'll use the least amount just because my skin tone, I don't really use those ones. So we are actually going to swatch all of these right now just because we have to, because they're so pretty. So we can see which one we want to use. So that's the strobe, so the pinky one. So it's not bad on the skin, you just can see it. It's not my go-to. So this is optic, this is the next shades. So this is the gold silvery one. And with these, you need the smallest amount. Like, look how little I put, and then it will just go everywhere. So that one is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So pretty. It's that one right there. Okay. Next is a flare. So this is the rose gold one. I'm sure I'll love this. I love everything rose gold. Like I said, the tiniest bit goes a long way. Oh, that one is so pretty. So it's this one, if you can see right here, it's so pretty. I'm running out of hand space. So next is like the gold, real gold, gold one, which is flash. And see like that so yes that's definitely the goldest of them so these two are my favorite the rose gold and the gold and I do like this one too and then this one's like really light but I can work with it so on the face though we are going to go in with the rose gold one so that's flare and with liquid highlighters, I usually, I'll either use my finger or I'll use the blending sponge. So I use the blending sponge. So it has a little dropper, but you don't even need to use the dropper. So I just put like the tiniest amount on there. And you'll see, it will go a long way. So just put a tiny bit on and then just put it on the face. So these are ones you probably have to work pretty fast with. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Let's look up close. Blend that a little bit better, but that is a blinding. Wow. I don't know if it's picking up only on camera, but that is so pretty. We're going a little bit more to the other side. We'll see if we can, if it's buildable, and see how blinding we can really get it. Just put a few. Just pull it up. And you want to work really fast with this, or else you'll get little splotches. But that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love that. Let's add a little bit more to the other side. Just to even them out. Oh my goodness. That 
is so pretty. I love it. It's so pretty. Okay. A little bit more. Do the nose and the cupid's bow with this. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. So pretty, and I love this sponge. Oh my goodness, probably be my go to if I when I travel and stuff. No, and it's cheap, so I'll probably use that a lot. Next, I'm gonna put a little bit of powder highlight just to set that highlighter. I don't really ever like to leave the highlighter without setting it so. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the JH09 brush, and we're going to go back into that 8L palette, and we're going to go in with this Cosmic one since it's the more rosy one, just so that it doesn't look weird. And just put that over wherever we did that liquid highlight, and that will really set it in place. We're going to do a little bit of mascara now. Um, I'm going to use the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. This is my favorite mascara to use. That's the drugstore. I go between that and the Better Than Sex Mascara. Those are pretty much the only two mascaras I use on a regular basis. Get our lashes on. Well, <laughs> mascara on our lashes. I don't put lashes on very much. And finally, we are going to try out the Hot Tropic Side Piece Lip Gloss Collection. So we'll swatch all of these and see what they look like. So it comes in a package. I don't think any of these colors are being sold separately yet. I think it's only in the package. But we'll see how pretty they are. First up is Beach Gold. So this is like a pinky gold color. Let's see. Looks like that. I'll, I'll actually try these all out on the lips and see what they look like. So let's take some of this foundation off. So most of these look like they're going to be lip toppers. Um, and not standalone where you could wear them just as like a lip gloss. So we will see. So this again is Beach Goals. So I love the packaging on those. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. It literally smells like the beach. It smells so good. So yeah, this definitely is like a lip topper, or if you just want like a glossy, sparkly lip. But it definitely just looks like you have shimmer on your lips, and they're wet. So that's the first one, Beach Goals. Uh, so next up, Pinky. So sparkly one. So this is Kiss Kiss. So upside down. Kiss Kiss. I love the clear packaging. It's like on their liquid lipsticks. You can see it's like a more frosted packaging. So it's like a gloss that's a little clear. Okay, let's get. Oh my god, the sparkly one. I heard just wants to stay on my lips. Alrighty. Let's try this one out. Ooh, this one is a really pretty. So I honestly probably would wear this one by itself. Not as a lip topper, just to have like a little flush of color on the lips. That was so pretty. 
I really like that color. It's perfect for the summer. The color's so pretty. Okay. Next up. Let's up. Is it's like it's punched, it's like a hot, hot pink color. So let's see what this looks like on. This one is really pretty too, and this is also another one I would wear by itself. love this color. I think the two pinks are going to be my favorite colors. But I do like the other one. So far the other sparkle to go on top of my mat. Okay, next is Sunny's. This is like a more goldy color. So let's see. This probably will be more like the first sparkle, shimmery sparkly one. That was more meant to be like a lip topper. Let's try this out. Ooh, this one's pretty. This will be definitely very pretty over a matte like a lipstick. Just to give it like a little gold reflect to it. You can see. It definitely would work just on my lips, just as a top. I just think it's sparkly just because I have more like mauve pink natural lips, so it kind of works, but do it as a lip topper too. Last but not least is Sauce. It's definitely a coppery lip gloss, so let's see what this looks like. I'm guessing this is going to be more like the lip toppers too. Not just a standalone lip gloss. I do love Morphe's Dofas. They're so good. They're just the right shape for the lips. look at that that is so pretty so I love all of the lip glosses they're all gorgeous and the set is affordable for how many lip glosses you get so that's the completed looks we've been doing so stay tuned for my next videos coming up I'm sure you're gonna like them and make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell right down below so you can be notified of all my future uploads. Bye!